Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to give you a demonstration on how to make this little cowboy hat that matches the little cowboy boots. So let's get started. I'm working with a size 5.5 millimeter crochet hook in worsted weight yarn. Chain 5. Slip stitch to join and form a ring. Chain 1. Make 10 single crochet in the ring. 10 single crochet in the ring. Slip stitch to join. Chain 1 and turn. so that you have 20 stitches in the row. So two single crochet in each stitch around. One, two, one, two. Repeat all the way around. Slip stitch to join. And you always slip stitch to join in the very first single crochet that you made. Chain one and turn. Single crochet in each stitch around you will still have 20 stitches in the row. Okay, I've single crocheted in each stitch around, slip stitch to join. Chain one and turn. Make two single crochet in each stitch around so that you have 40 stitches in the row. So two single crochet in each stitch around. One, I repeat all the way around. Okay, I've made two single crochets in each stitch around. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join. Chain one and turn. And I always turn so that my stitches don't take on a twisted look. Now we're just going to repeat row after row of chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch around. So I'm going to go off camera and do that. And then I'll come back and show you when I have the correct number of rows. Okay. I've gone ahead and I've repeated chain one and turn single crochet in each stitch around for an additional 10 rows. And at the end of the row, I slip stitched to join. And I've chained one and turned. Now I'm going to begin to make the band. So I'm going to make two single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next, two single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. Okay, I've worked all the way around, making two single crochet in every second stitch. And at the end of the row, slip stitch to join. Chain one and turn. Single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so work all the way around, making one single crochet in each stitch. Okay, I've worked all the way around, making one single crochet in each stitch. You can see it's beginning to form a band. I'm going to do single, 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 two singles. One, two. So single, 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 and two singles. Repeat that all the way around. Okay, I've worked all the way around making one single crochet in each stitch around. At the end of the row, I slip stitched to join, and I'm going to fasten off. And this is how the hat looks at this stage. Attach contrasting color yarn in the fasten off stitch. Chain one, single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Like that. So work all the way around doing one single crochet in each stitch. 
Okay, I've worked all the way around, making one single crochet in each stitch around. Fasten off. Okay, so this is how the hat looks at this stage, and now we're going to shape the top. Thread the yarn end from the center into a yarn needle. Fold the hat on the second row on this side and on this matching side as well. Just bring those two together. Using the yarn end, just pass through a stitch on this side and go to the opposite side like that and attach these two together. Not too tightly, just enough so that you don't see the separation and then just take a few stitches to secure that. So now you'll just have to roll up the sides and your little cowboy hat is done. For a boy you could attach the star made from the booties and for a girl you could attach a flower. The flower and star instructions are in the booties video.